Who? They don't want it cause I come to defeat. They don't want it. I peek. These niggas all sweet. Sweet bamboo sticks all in the Jeep. It's a new weirdo every week, weirdo. A whole lot of people need to hear this. It's a lot of names on my head list. Mom still say what he wants to. Pussy still wet like a big bitch. I should run a whole blog at this rate. They using my name for good day. Bitches even wanna stop fake beef. Still a little weave in the mixtape. They know I'm the bomb, they're taking me off. Say anything to get a response. I know that mean the traffic is low. Somebody just gotta press the law. So fuck being tamed, I'd rather be wild. Bitches is bendy, they wanna be down. So that these bitches got something to sell. They say my name, say my name, Destiny Child. Imagine this. You're slowly but surely working your way back to the top, despite being played by a history of unfounded, slanderous allegations led by your former disgruntled employees. As I have told you all from the beginning, if you step away from the distractions and follow the money, you would realize what's going on here. Not only did this man have a history of unfounded allegations. He also had a history of people scamming not only him, but his fans. But I'll get on to that a little bit later. It would appear from the beginning of his career up until now, each manager he had screwed him over. Just imagine this. You have one person who goes from being an accountant to your manager after he gets another manager out the way, of course. There's a pattern of these people fighting for a position only to do the same things over again. From Demetrius Smith stealing from him to a variation of UCC filings against him. Kelly has had his hands full dealing with the living, living with the celebrity lifestyle while dealing with ongoing betrayals from his wife ah. to these reporters chasing any scandalous story to even his family turning against him. At the end of the day, it's clear that despite his shortcomings, he still had a trusting heart. And because of this, some of these people stayed around him and ultimately played a role in his setup. So just peek game to what's going on these YouTube streets. Because somebody sent me a link not too long ago. And I saw something that caught my attention. You see, this whole time period, some of you people in these live chats have been gravitating toward the distractions and not recognizing the bigger picture at play. Because mind you, some of these people's names that we hear thrown around now would not be relevant had they not found it necessary to link up with certain individuals. With that being said, I told y'all last year some of these people in these private groups were relying on giving their information to other people to present while they hid in these little groups. The minute they decided they had problems with these individuals, including myself, they started to move on to the next person willing to push the message that they wanted to push. Whether it was true or not, they didn't give a fuck. Clearly. So anyways, I recognized that I was in this little private messaging way back, you remember, the very first rally protests back in 2019? Well, as a result of someone else bringing forth these other people, I found myself being added to this chat. Eventually, I ended up leaving the chat because, as I will show you, these people just kept going back and forth. There was a whole lot of messaging going on, and considering that I have a real job, it's very disruptive to have your phone bing, bing, binging every fucking second. And then, especially when I realized that 
some of these people calling themselves frontlining this movement now were in this chat and not only were they in this chat but some of these people scamming were in this chat and it's funny that every time I mentioned it in the past these people went extra hard at this defense fund it's kind of like how I watch the political debates now and how the opponents, when they're asked a question, they never directly answer that question without first throwing mud on the next person. That's the thing we're seeing on these YouTube streets. Diversion tactics. Because at the end of the day, like I said, it's all about the money. All these people want to keep talking about people making money off R. Kelly's name. They don't want to mention... The fact that they are too. And then when you mention the fact that they are too, then they want to deflect. They want to discredit the people who have put in the work. When at the end of the day, I feel like these people know each other. They knew what was going on. They know what is still going on. And instead of Stopping the bullshit. They're continuing to try to sell their narratives. We see the same cycle over and over. On this message, again, for the last time, the rally is Dana's ideas. I cannot answer any questions pertaining to that until I get with him. Now, this was in August 2019, coming from... A specific person that just got to keep throwing all this bullshit on YouTube. And as I personally told this person, it's not helping the person you claim to support. And when I sat back and continued to see this bullshit going on, it became clear to me why. Why nobody is addressing the scamming of his fans. Why people get so defensive when people mention other people scamming his fans? So just peek game to what's going on these YouTube streets. Because somebody sent me a link not too long ago. And I saw something that caught my attention. You see, this whole time period, some of you people in these live chats have been gravitating toward the distractions and not recognizing the bigger picture at play because mind you some of these people's names that we hear thrown around now would not be relevant had they not found it necessary to link up with certain individuals with that being said I told y'all last year some of these people in these private groups were relying on giving their information to other people to present while they hid in these little groups. The minute they decided they had problems with these individuals, including myself, they started to move on to the next person willing to push the message that they wanted to push. Whether it was true or not, they didn't give a fuck. Clearly. So anyways, I recognized that I was in this little private messaging way back you remember the very first rally protests back in 2019 well as a result of someone else bringing forth these other people I found myself being added to this chat eventually I ended up leaving the chat because as I will show you these people just kept going back and forth it was a whole lot of messaging going on and considering that I have a real job it's very disruptive to have your phone bing bing binging every fucking second and then especially when I realized that some of these people calling themselves frontlining this movement now were in this chat and not only were they in this chat but some of these people scamming were in this chat and it's funny that every time I mentioned it in the past these people went 
extra hard at this defense fund. It's kind of like how I watch the political debates now and how the opponents, when they're asked a question, they never directly answer that question without first throwing mud on the next person. That's the thing we're seeing on these YouTube streets. Diversion tactics. Because at the end of the day, like I said, it's all about the money. All these people want to keep talking about people making money off R. Kelly's name. They don't want to mention the fact that they are too. And then when you mention the fact that they are too, then they want to deflect. They want to discredit the people who have put in the work. When at the end of the day, I feel like these people know each other. They knew what was going on. They know what is still going on. And instead of stopping the bullshit, they're continuing to try to sell their narratives. We see the same cycle over and over. On this message, again, for the last time, the rally is Dana's ideas. I cannot answer any questions pertaining to that until I get with him. Now, this was in August 2019, coming from a specific person that just got to keep throwing all this bullshit on YouTube. And as I personally told this person, it's not helping the person you claim to support. And when I sat back and continued to see this bullshit going on, it became clear to me why. Why nobody is addressing the scamming of his fans? Why people get so defensive when people mention other people scamming his fans? Why do people find it necessary to berate people who have regular jobs while they sit on the fucking internet and scam people? Ask yourself these questions before you jump on these narratives they're spinning. Just because a person gets in front of you and plays a good role don't mean they have the best intentions. Just remember that. Talking about people making money off this man's name. And this man needs money for his phones. This man needs money on his commentary. And this man only has less than 10000 for his defense. Even though we clearly see this man is being set the fuck up. His defense is going to have to make do with what they have in order to prove what we know. While all these motherfucking people have sit here and collected all this money using his name. Thing right here so y'all can hear this message. Listen. After the rally, no one is really going to have time to go really go change it to no clothes. So whatever you wear for that day, you go wear that to the meet and greet as well because we ain't going to have that time enough for y'all to go change like that. So just make sure you wear what you go wear is comfortable enough because that's what you go wear to the meet and greet. If you really think about it, uh, nobody's going to have time to go to the room to try to change it. I'm going to get up with Dana and we're going to try to organize uh, some other things and I'll be back to talk to y'all in a minute because I'm working. Now, like I told y'all, after whatever happened at that rally went down, people got in their feelings, and instead of just walking away, they had to make this all about them. Try to make a living off of pretending to be a fucking supporter. While everybody else supporting this man can still go out and work and do everything else they're doing while being ridiculed on the internet for not playing this fake ass role. As they say, you can fool some of the people some of the times. But if you follow the fucking money when it comes to this case, you will not be scammed by these people. Now, 
With that being said, let me drop this other fact on you. Because as I said, whatever happened, these people felt like they had another connection to get next to R. Kelly, I guess. So they felt like the other connections they've made, they don't need anymore. Do we see a pattern of people using people to get what they want and then tossing them to the side once they feel like they've accomplished their goal? We see it over and over. Basically, what I'm saying is, you know, uh, when you start putting money into the equation, then, you know, uh, things start to go a little bit left. First thing they're going to say is, oh, they had a party, and, you know, where the money go to, and who had the money, and did his lawyer get the money, and all this. You know, I don't want to be no, uh, uh, a monkey see, uh, monkey do type thing just because they do we do i did, i want us to be different you know what i'm saying not 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 in a way that we're different but doing the same thing as everybody else you know and i'm quite sure in this in this group of people man we got a lot of big minds so maybe we can put something else together i don't know but money you gotta understand when they come to money and you know what you know what the Bible says about money now, as I said, when the defense fund was originally brought to me to promote, I said I really didn't want to have anything to do with it. I could verify it. That's about it, because I know how people are when it comes to money. Now, at the same time, there are supporters that were truly looking for alternative options to help in this situation. And there were people who are now full of the distractions that knew this is my point in showing you all this. So for them to continue with these bullshit narratives that they keep spinning lets me know that they are aware what's really going on. And to keep sitting here like people are trying to incriminate certain individuals when they were told the same information that everybody else has been told is kind of funny. I don't know what's up with Don. I'm going to call Don. Yo, I got Don personal number. I'm going to call him. And I also want to say this too, y'all. Uh, you know, I know it's a lot of Facebook drama going on. You know, I, I'm not about none of that. Like I say, I know what fights to pick, what fights not to pick. And that back and forth with people, that's beneath me. It's not helping Ra. But the more we come together for the purpose of Ra, it's a great thing. We just got to set aside the drama that's going on with Ra and the people who claim to be for Ra. Because to me, I feel like if, if you for Ra, it shouldn't be no drama. You already in enough drama. Why add more to it? Why, my, why add more fuel to the fire? You feel me? That sounds like something I've said. And it's funny. After the rally, like I said, what do we have here? The very person saying, if you're from Rob, if you're for Rob, there should be no drama. Meanwhile, they want to focus on the drama and overlook the fact that it's a whole lot of people out here lying. It's a whole lot of people out here scamming. And it's a whole lot of connections between some of these people that they're trying to hide. At the end of the day. Keep your ears and eyes open. I can't tell you who to support and who not to support. But when I see bullshit, I call bullshit. Especially when it comes to certain things. <laughs>